Python's built-in input function requests the user to type in some input. So if I run this, then I'm stuck here at the prompt. And what it's actually doing is it's asking me to type something in and then hit enter. And then it continues to run the code and in my case, ends the program. So the code stops when it reaches that input and waits for the input. When the input's entered, then it, this function, the input function, it returns that input. But I wasn't very clear. It wasn't really obvious I was meant to type something in the terminal. So what I can do is I can give the user a prompt by passing in an argument to the input function, which is a string. It's the message which is gonna to show to the user prompting them what they should type in. And that makes it a little more clear what they should do when they encounter that. The input function returns whatever was input by the user. That means that you can assign whatever comes out of the input function to a variable like this. And there it printed the name. So if I run this in interactive mode, either by using these magic comments, or if I would run this in a Jupyter notebook, then the prompt actually shows up at the top of the screen in VS Code. And it's really easy to miss this. And people will be sitting there for ages looking, saying, where's the terminal? It's not open. There's nothing in my terminal. In reality, it's at the top. So this is where you need to type in the input. And whatever you enter there is going to be returned from the input function. So overall, you can use the input function to get input from a user, which is returned. You can assign it to a variable and you can give the input function a prompt to indicate whatever you want the user to enter.